Razer just released some IEMs, like real IEMs, and that is the new Razer Moray IEMs. When we pop open our box, you are presented with this awesome, just, I don't know, I like this package in here. They're wrapped in a foam, as you see, you got your IEMs and their little Razer logo in there. Corny, but I love it. Popping it open down there, you're gonna see you have all your accessories. Those accessories you get in your box are your paperwork, this nice little storage carrying case here, which has this extra little pocket in here if you wanna put some extra tips, this little hook deal, and it is pretty hard, so it's gonna protect them. And whenever you zip them up, it's really nice because it actually comes all the way around the edge, give you a little bit of extra just, I don't wanna say waterproof, but again, a little bit of extra protection in there. And then you get all these replacement ear tips. Now you get all your silicone, small, medium, large, but they also included these foam ones, these little memory foam ones, which is what I use on all of my IEMs or my wireless earbuds as well. Absolutely love these foam ones. Now, before we dive into this product here, I just want to touch on IEMs. I know a lot of you are very familiar with them right now. They've been very popular this last year, coming up now, pro gamers, a lot of FPS players using them and stuff. And why are they so popular? Well, you think about say Apple AirPods, which are not IEMs, but they're wireless earbuds, right? Many companies make them. Number one, convenience, the compact size, but also that sound is right into your ears. There's no bleed, nothing else is coming in. That sound is right there. And that's amplified via IEMs. You got dual drivers, kind of like we have on these here. You can really get a serious sound signature with an IEM, whether it be more bass, more highs, a little bit of both. You can truly experience that with IEMs here. And again, it's jammed right in your ears, going right into you. So you got a really full, impactful sound with not much verberation like you do on, say, a headset or a pair of headphones. Bam, it's right into your ears. They're compact, they're right there and you get this amazing sound with them. So again, that's the craze and why everybody is kind of talking about IEMs lately. Now where I want to start with these IEMs is the exact same spot I start with any of my gaming headset or headphone reviews, and that is with comfort. And trust me, I know you're thinking, earbuds, IEMs, you shove them in your ears, whatever, you're done. Well, the comfort of these Razer IEMs truly stands out, and spoiler, they are hands down all day long, the most comfortable earbuds, wireless, wired, or IEMs that I have ever put in my ears. So taking a closer look at the comfort of these Razer IEMs and how am I saying they are any different than any other earbud or anything, there's multiple areas they really made these stand out. Number one with this loop that's going to go around your ears, it's not too big or too tight. As you see it kind of looping around there, so you're gonna tuck it behind your ear, it's gonna grip on there, but again, the tension isn't too tight, so you're not gonna feel it pinching or grabbing onto you anywhere. More importantly, they got the MMCX cable. As you see, you got that swivel right there. That's what you get from that micro miniature coax cable. When you take it out, bam, you can see it connect right like that. That gives us kind of just like on a gaming headset, you have that swivel. Now, as we swivel that around, there's two other areas here. Number one being those memory foam ear tips, which you can pretty much get these for any ear, but as you see them, I got them on my AirPods down here as well. So those are really gonna form into the canal of your ear and then lock out any of that sound coming in or out right there, but also not create any pressure or any uh, gaps right there. Really nice, comfortable fit. Most importantly, I want you to look at the curves on this IEM, and I really want you to kind of get this embedded into your head right here. So you see that looping around right there, kind of up here, you got all these curves. It's not basic flat. Let's go to look at another regular IEM over here. I'm talking about it being flat, you got your bud, bam, and it's flat, then there's your housing out there and everything. Okay, let's look at a standard earbud over here. These are the HyperX ones, I believe. And you can see, this is what we see a lot within earbuds. Same over here with the Logitech. It's just bam, your bud, and then this housing outside. A lot of Razer ones have done that as well. Coming over here and looking at our AirPods Pro, kind of the standard design you see, even with Razer earbuds, the wireless ones, you got your bud, and then it kind of sits in there. So now that you had a good look of some, again, basic earbuds, wireless ones that we're all familiar with, or some other IEMs, Looking at those curves within this, it's really interesting. Once you get it and put it in your ear, it's, you really you can see what I'm talking about. It's truly something special because it just sits in there, 
doesn't move around one bit. But on top of that, I don't have any pressure. And that's not common to see. Usually for an earbud or IEM not to move around, you're gonna have something really tight on you or pressure, you're gonna have to jam it in right there. I don't feel like it's jammed in. I don't feel any pressure. And, and that's really shocking for earbuds or I, especially IEMs for them to be stinking cozy. But hands down, these are stinking cozy and easily the most comfortable earbud IEM, wireless earbud or whatever that I have ever put in my ears. Now touching more on this cable here, there's also other benefits. As far as number one, that swivel, but I really like how they connect. They're really firm, but still fairly easy to disconnect. You can probably hear in the camera, they clip in really nice. And then to get them out, they are snug, so they're not gonna fall out on you, but they're still fairly easy. I wanna show you a different IEM I have over here. And you can see this has the dual prong. If I can get this undone, you can see it has that dual prong, which you see on a lot of kind of cheaper IEMs, right? It goes in there, bam, and you're good. Now, as you're seeing, yes, I did rip that wire completely out of that. So that's something I really like about these. Again, they clip in tight, but they're still fairly easy to get undone when these can get in there a little bit too tight and like myself ripping the wire out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the weight of these IEMs as well. And pretty much all earbuds are IEMs. They're all very lightweight. And talking about these with the wire connected, because you will feel that they are 12.4 grams. So yes, still very lightweight. And talking about the build, they are pretty much all plastic going right around here up to the earbud. Our connecting point in there is metal, but right midline of the wire, you do got this little metal piece here with some razor branding, and then this little circle ring. And what that's gonna do is you can pull a little bit tighter right there kind of reduce some of that slack and that random messy play of wire you got there just to kind of consolidate it and keep it a little more clean so as far as the build and comfort of these razor iems again the comfort hands down no questions asked the most stinking cozy earbuds iems i have ever put in my ears as far as build they feel solid. They're nothing above and beyond by any means. That's when you get into more of those expensive IEMs where they're metal or they got some really cool, crazy design on them, you know? But again, I'd rather be plastic and be incredibly lightweight and comfortable as these are. But IEMs, earbuds in general, you just gotta be careful with them no matter what, you know what I mean? But I say they get a pass. Now I wanna get into the most exciting part about any IEMs out there, and that is sound. And talking about the Razer sound here, they pack dual hybrid drivers. So they got a dynamic driver for our low end, our bass, and then a balanced armature driver for our treble or our highs there. Now they are 32 ohms and they plug straight in 3.5. So they're gonna work on any device, of course, with a 3.5 port, whether that be a controller on your console, your switch, your PC, simply plug and play. You don't need an amp or anything to drive these. Now, the frequency range on these are 20 to 24,000, but I wanna push everything I just talked about aside, those are all just numbers. I wanna talk about my time using them and we'll talk about some comparisons here so we can really kinda of get a vibe of what these IEMs are packing. Cause again, that's what really separates IEMs from, again, a basic earbud or your AirPods Pros or something. Cause they all have a different sound signature to them which makes IEMs really special. So I wanna to touch on those dual drivers first right there. Cause that's something that really stood out to me on these. Talking about that dynamic driver where you say you got that impactful bass cause you got a dedicated driver just for the base. Well, these were not packing much base. They did have that back end base. So it wasn't just straight highs and a screechy sound by any means. You had that back end base just kind of back there doing its performance, what it had to need to do. Nothing was up here. You didn't get any rumble. You didn't get any exciting hit. You didn't get any real immersion. It was just back here kind of filling in a little bit, you know? Now don't take it as, oh, hey, they're ear piercing and screechy. That's not what you got here, but they were definitely geared more towards the highs, hands down, no questions asked. So I'm playing on PC, a lot of Destiny, and right now Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. And on both games, I really got that vibe. Now I took this and plugged it into my iFi Zen amp and I clicked that X bass button and then it came to life and I really got that bass and that bass still performed really nice. It, again, it wasn't beats bass. Don't think you're going to get that by any means. It wasn't even as bassy as say the Razer Wireless uh, True, well, I forget what you call these earbuds here. It wasn't that bass heavy, but it was a very natural, full, immersive bass. But out of the box, plug straight 3.5 not much bass, even with the dual drivers, definitely geared more towards the highs there across anything, whether I'm playing Diablo, plugged in the controller, 
or into PC. But those highs were very detailed, very lively, very bright, and very crispy. Nothing was overdone. Again, they weren't screechy. It had great dialogue, great like weapon slashing and abilities in Diablo and stuff like that. It was very separated and crystal clear. And that's kind of where IEMs are popular these days. FPS, everything I just talked about, is kind of what you want in FPS, in most FPS games. You know, you want that detail clarity high, that separation of the highs, the reload to the footsteps. That's what you want. And that's, again, what you're getting right here. And that's where I kind of put this is, you know, this is a great FPS IEM, hence where F or IEMs are real popular these days, not so much a story-driven IEM. And that's kind of where I want to go into a couple comparisons here. Talking about basic earbuds, all right? We got the HyperX ones, we got the Logitech ones, heck, even Razer wired earbuds. You kind of get that standard, I don't want to say flat, but you kind of get that standard sound, right? Everything's just kind of doing what it does. Bam, it's right there. You can get that real neutral, kind of manageable sound that we all can kind of get down with. Like, all right, this is passable, right? That's kind of what you got right here. And again, you're catching the jive. That's what separates IEMs is that sound signature can really be different across, again, a $20 pair to a $1,000 pair. Going right over into these ones, these are the critical ones. I forget the name of these right here. Talking about the sound of these, there is a little bit more bass, but I wouldn't say, again, it's not hit and bass. It's more or less that mid and bass kind of working together right there. Definitely a little bit fuller sound over here than the razors, like big time. One to the other, these were crispy and just detailed and very lively in the highs. These were kind of like these on steroids, right? This was like an earbud on steroids, definitely potent, a little more punchy out there. A little bit more of an immersive sound, I would say. Not full by any means, like a standard earbud, but again, you kind of had a little bit of that sprinkled in over here. Now, compared to something like, again, a wireless earbud, your Apple one, or either the Razer, or heck, any other ones, is these are pretty much the exact same as a wireless earbud, just packing features, right? You got RGB, you got touch controls, you got noise cancellation, you got that hybrid sound where you can hear the stuff outside of you and stuff. So, when you look at a wireless one compared to an IEM, well, over here, you're just buying these wireless with features. So, that sums up the sound perfect right there, and I hope you kind of caught my my jive talking about my gaming and again some of the comparisons there and no joke if you play FPS you're gonna love the sound of these if you play Warzone you're gonna love the sound of these Valorant Call of Duty anything like that and you play a little more competitive and you want to get that detail really kind of pushed into you and that's what you're hearing that's what you're gonna get with these Razer IEMs. But I do personally wish they had some more bass. So we had a good look over the IEMs, but we're not done yet. Stick with me here, because we got a conversation piece we need to touch on here. And that is, how did Razer do being the first big gaming company to dabble with IEMs? Are they just jumping on the hype train right now and just spitting out a product? Or are they really taking their time and did they come out with a solid product here? Well, these come in at 130 bucks, so they're not on the cheap end, but they're not on the expensive end. They're kind of right in the middle right there, you know? Do I think they're worth 130 bucks. The comfort alone on these IEMs, if I was a dedicated IEM user, the comfort alone would sell me on these. I can't say it enough. These are phenomenal in the comfort department. Of course, comfort's different person to person, so you're gonna have to get them and shove them in your ears. They may be a little different for you, but holy smokes, the comfort would sell these alone for me. Now, I know what one of the main comments will be down below is that they're too expensive for IEMs. I mean, the IEM market is incredibly flooded, right? Talking about these critical ones, they're 50 bucks. They are incredibly popular. And yeah, they're good for 50 bucks. But again, they're different, right? IEMs, you're gonna get different sound across all of them, even into more expensive ones or cheaper ones, you know? And yeah, you can get a pair of IEMs for 20 bucks. And then you can say these are expensive. But what you're getting right here, again, number one, I go on and on, the comfort is unmatched on these. But that sound, if you are an FPS player, you're gonna get some great sound right here. You really are. You gotta say, what am I looking for in my IEM? And if this is doing everything for you, then that justifies the price. So I honestly think Razer did do a good job right here. It's not just slapping IEM on the box. I really like what they did. I hope this isn't their last product within the IEM space, I hope they implement one with a little bit more bass, maybe more story driven, or just for us bass heads that want that real lively, full immersion sound. I hope Razer does do that and kind of implement it in there. I hope this isn't the last spot because, man, I sound like a broken record. 
I want to use these and usually I don't want to use earbuds or IEMs because they're so uncomfortable. But these, I want to use. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about Razer stepping into the IEM game? Are you excited to finally see big companies stepping into the space or you're like, nah, just stick to the headsets. Give me a headset. I don't want this thing jammed in my ear. But all in all, thank you so much for coming by for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope I catch you in the next video. Bye now.